Texas Motor Speedway Friday afternoon and it's dry, clear skies. First time in a long time we've had a Friday for qualifying where we actually got qualifying in. Jeff Gordon on the pole. That's right. Texas, Jeff Gordon on the pole. He was as surprised as everybody else was. This is not his best track. In fact, it might be his worst track. Never won here. Never really looked that good here. Hit the walls a couple of times here pretty darn hard. Not really his favorite track either. Difficult track to get into. The entry into turn one, flat, almost like California. Then suddenly the banking, like Atlanta. You gotta be prepared for that. You're running at 207. 207 miles an hour into a tricky turn like that, your car has to handle good. And Steve Letarte gave Jeff Gordon just the car he needed. Now is he gonna win on Sunday? Jeff says, probably not, but then he didn't expect to win the pole either. Hey. Strange things happen, but strange things are probably not going to happen for Jimmy Johnson and Chad Knauss. Chad Knauss, Mr. Wizard, the guy's got the world on the string, and it's not a yo-yo. He's got Jimmy Johnson 183 points ahead in the championship race with three to go. Looks like a lock to me, but will NASCAR change the race next year? Will NASCAR tweak the championship chase rules next year? That's all the talk in the garage. Should they do something? Should they not do something? I think they should do something. I didn't like the chase to begin with. And it's certainly not doing anything this year to liven things up. Those ratings out of Atlanta last week, three threes, not very good. Crowd, pretty down. Jimmy, shoot out his tires, make him run 200 pounds heavier, make him drive backwards. Hey, NASCAR needs to do something. But hey, if you're as good as Jimmy Johnson is, maybe there's nothing they can do. We went back and checked the records. Even under the old rules, he'd still be leading the championship chase right now. But, now here's an interesting twist. Give Carl Edwards back those 100 points for that oil tank whatever it was at Las Vegas. That was the penalty NASCAR gave him. And he comes here, two points ahead of Jimmy Johnson under the old rules. To me, hey, that's a two-point race for the championship with three to go. That's what NASCAR wants. That's what NASCAR could have had, but it changed the rules. NASCAR's got only itself to blame for that. So we'll see what they do. Maybe if TV ratings are good, and this is Texas, they won't do anything. Jeff Gordon on the pole, Martin Drex Jr. on the outside for DEI, trying like heck to save the DEI franchise. Four teams, all in the top 35, one sponsor. Teresa needs to readjust her thinking over there. We'll see if Martin Truex can liven things up, if Jeff Gordon can get that first run of the season, or, hey, this is a Jack Roush track, and if anybody but a Jack Roush driver wins, I'll be surprised. But then Jimmy Johnson surprised us last year here, and he also surprised us in the spring, second, to Carl Edwards. Me, I'm picking Carl Edwards to win Sunday's Texas Stickies 500. Mike Mullen for the Winston-Salem Journal, journalnow.com, Texas Motor Speedway.